Aloha. This is Ambassador John McDonald speaking to you from Arlington, Virginia, near Washington, D.C. I'd like to thank the nominating committee for putting my name forward for the Distinguished Alumni Award. And I'd like to thank my grandson, Ben Wickler, a Harvard graduate who is taping this interview and has his own radio show called The Good Fight. It's a pleasure to be with you by this modern communication, but I'm sorry I couldn't be with you in person. I had a great two and a half years at Roosevelt. I graduated in the class of 39. I was president of the senior class. I was a captain in the ROTC. I started the National Honor Society and the debating club while I was there. And then went on to become a U.S. diplomat for 40 years. And uh, it's interesting that we're taping this today because this is September 21, 19, 2015. And this is the International Day of Peace, which I started at the General Assembly of the United Nations in 1981 by drafting a resolution which was adopted unanimously. And the first International Day of Peace was in 1982. Today, over 30 years later, some 800 million people in the world are celebrating the International Day of Peace, something I'm very proud to be a part of. I have three short stories to tell you about what happened after I graduated from Roseville High. I said I was a U.S. diplomat uh, from 1959 to 1963. I was accredited to Turkey, Iran, and Pakistan and was living in Ankara, Turkey. And when I returned from Karachi, I stopped off in Beirut, went to a small hotel where I usually went, and then came down to breakfast the next morning, and I walked into the breakfast room with maybe a dozen people in there. I heard a voice on my right say, John McDonald. And I knew that voice immediately. Before I turned, I said, Mrs. Fro, what are you doing here? And we sat down and talked, and Mrs. Fro was my favorite teacher at Roosevelt. She was a history teacher, and she was a great teacher. And she retired and was now on vacation. And by chance, in 1960, we met in a little breakfast room in Beirut. Well, we invited her to come to my home in Ankara, and so she came and spent a week with us and then returned to the United States. So that was a great meeting. In 19... 72 years later, I was at the State Department and I was testifying before the U.S. Senate on some issue or other. And after I finished my testimony, I went up to Senator Inouye, the distinguished senator from Hawaii, who was a war veteran and was a great senator. And I said, Senator, I thought you'd like to know that I went to high school in Honolulu. He looked at me, he stuck his finger in my chest and said, which high school? I knew exactly what he meant. In those days, there were only three high schools. One was a private school called Punahou. That's where President Obama went when he was young. And then there was Roosevelt, and finally there was McKinley. 
and the senator said, I couldn't get into Roosevelt. I couldn't pass the English language entrance exam. So I went to McKinley. But then he added, my wife went to Roosevelt very proudly of that accomplishment. My third little vignette <clears throat> took place just two months ago when I was in Vermont attending the wedding of my granddaughter, who was a lawyer and was working in Vermont. And after the ceremony was all over, <clears throat> we took a taxi <clears throat> to the airport about a half an hour away to return to Washington, D.C. And in the taxi, as I often do, I ask the taxi driver where he's from. And I was astonished when he said, I'm from Maui. And I said, wow, I went to Roosevelt High School in Honolulu. I know where Maui is. And I said, I know the mayor of Maui. He was a classmate of mine. Hannibal Tavares. Do you know the name? And the taxi driver from Maui said, of course I know him. He was a great mayor. Everybody in the island loved him. And he was a 1939 classmate at Roosevelt High School. So we have this three little examples of the broad outreach of Roosevelt High School in the decades that follow graduation. And I just wanted to tell those stories so you'd realize the outreach that you happen to have without you even knowing about it. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to you. I hope you have a great event and I wish you all the best. Again, aloha.